Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split audio based on volume in Reaper. Now there are times in our productions or during mixing where we want to treat a sound or multiple sounds on a track differently. I have a drum track in front of me. Let's hear it. As you can tell on the snare track, he hits the drum harder and softer or with ghost notes at different times. Let's solo it. So there are going to be times where you want to treat the different attack to the drum differently. So let me show you how to split it. Let's solo the snare, go to the track effects on the snare, and we'll search in the filter general for the general dynamics compressor or gate or expander. Let's double click it. And it looks like this, where we can compress or gate or expand based on the graph down here. Let's hear the snare again and watch the volume on the graph. Here's the input and here's the output. So we want to separate the softer hits from the loud hits. And we could do that with a gate. So let's draw down here to about here. And now anything in this range is going to be gated or turned off. And everything over here is going to play back normal. And we can adjust the threshold right over here with the detector gain knob. Let's adjust the input attack and the input release. Let's add a bit of look ahead right here so we don't cut off our transients. So now we're just hearing the loud hits and the quiet hits are being gated. So now we could treat this completely separately from the ghost hits. So let's duplicate the track, right click, duplicate tracks, and let's make this one the loud hits and make this one the soft hits or the ghost notes. So go back to that plugin and set this up differently. Let's reset it, both on the PC, option on the Mac, and draw from here to here to gate just the loud notes. So now we're just hearing the ghost notes on this track. So if we solo both of them, It sounds the same, but the ghost notes or the soft notes are playing from here and the loud notes are playing from here. So now we could treat them completely differently. Let's try compressing the loud hits. Double click over here. Score the Reaper plugins. Read a comp. Turn on auto makeup gain. which gives us more crack on the loud hits of the snare. Now let's EQ it. Re-EQ, make this bigger, and let's boost the top end and the upper mids. Now let's treat the ghost notes. Let's add a compressor, 
be a cop. But to cue it. But this time, we're going to boost the low end. To make it sound more full. Let's add some more reverb to the ghost notes. I already have a drum send. Let's boost it just for the softer hits. And it's not going to affect the louder hits. And now finally, we could blend them in the mixer. Let's solo both snares. And let's hear it in the mix. Let's add more reverb. Let's hear it before. We have much more control of the different snare hits by separating it to separate tracks. Want to hear less of the ghost notes? Or more? It could all be controlled with the different tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's how to split audio based on volume in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.